Death Erection from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. A death erection, angel lust, or terminal erection is a post-mortem erection, technically a priapism, observed in the corpses of human males who have been executed, particularly by hanging. Overview the phenomenon has been attributed to pressure on the cerebrum created by the noose. Spinal cord injuries are known to be associated with priapism. Injuries to the cerebrum or spinal cord are often associated with priapism in living patients. Death by hanging, whether an execution or a suicide, has been observed to affect the genitals of both men and women. In women, the labia will become engorged and there may be a discharge of blood from the vagina. In men, a more or less complete state of erection of the penis with discharge of urine, of mucus, or of the prostatic fluid is a frequent occurrence, present in one case in three. Other causes of death may also result in these effects, including fatal gunshot wounds to the brain, damage to major blood vessels, or violent death by poisoning. Forensically, a post-mortem priapism is an indicator that death was likely swift and violent. Cultural References Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot includes a passage in Act One. Estragon What about hanging ourselves? Vladimir Hmm, it give us an erection. Estragon An erection? Vladimir, with all that follows. Where it falls, mandrakes grow. That's why they shriek when you pull them up. Did you not know that? Estragon. Let's hang ourselves immediately. In Abomination, a 2003 episode of Law and Order Special Victims Unit, when a man's body is found wrapped in bedsheets, a young policeman notes his erection. Told by Detective Stabler that this is a frequent side effect of asphyxiation, the officer jokes that he assumed the victim was scared stiff. The 2003 Channel 4 documentary on the Jack Shepard case, The Georian Underworld, Part 4, Invitation to a Hanging, noted that his hanging caused an erection. The Cyclops section of James Joyce's Ulysses makes multiple use of the terminal erection as a motif. The Michael Moore documentary, Fahrenheit 9-11, includes found footage of United States troops jocularly prodding the post-mortem erection of a fallen Iraqi. In The Decline and Fall of the Roman Emperor, Edward Gibbon relates an anecdote attributed to Abulfeda that Ali, on the death of Mohammed, exclaimed, O Propheta, certe penis tu salem versus erectus est. O Prophet, thy penis is erect unto the sky. At the end of Herman Melville's short novel, Billy Bud, Billy's unusual moral purity is suggested by the fact that, contrary to the general rule, he does not get an erection after being hanged. On the other hand, in Thomas Pychon's novel Mason and Dixon, Charles Mason says to himself, In my experience, tis usually the innocent who get terminal erections, and the guilty who fail to. In Boris Vian's 1946 novel, Jairi Kacher Suvars Tombes, I Shall Spit on Your Graves, the final sentence mentions a lynching victim's ridiculous erection. In HBO's therapist drama, In Treatment, Season 1, Episode 2, a client tells about once having been clinically dead and about his fear that he could have an erection meanwhile. In HBO's drama, Six Feet Under, Episode titled The Will, Season 1, Episode 2, Nate and Frederico pick up a corpse at a nursing home and discover the corpse's erection, which Frederico refers to as Angel Lust. In William Burroughs' Naked Lunch, references are made to this phenomenon throughout several chapters. In Dave Eggers' A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius, the protagonist pictures himself being tried for his brother's death and sentenced to death by hanging. He suddenly remembers about that embarrassing erection at the end. See also Liver Mortis. For Wikipedia, I'm Jules Ismail. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft 
slash fdl.html.